Good evening, and welcome to Amateur Peace Theatre. Your hosts, Jill and Janelle. Hi, I'm Jill. And I am Janelle. We're, We're the, the Davis, Davis sisters. The story we wish to share with you involves those of our family that most people don't know about. They're of the hard-headed sort. You might say knuckleheads, the ones we try to keep in the closet. Yes, they're a strange bunch. There is Ellard, Cletus, Jeffrey, and of course, Lulu. I'd say the really strange things started to happen in November 2005, when our father, Tony, got in touch with Mr. Mike Sheridan over in the UK. Al, another knucklehead, who was boarding with us at the time, took a long voyage from our home in the United States of America over the pond to Mr. Sheridan in Great Britain. Little did we know then that Al and Lulu had become very close. Since Al left, Lulu hasn't been herself. And with every passing day, Lulu just sits and waits to hear from Al. And this is where our story continues. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Or maybe I didn't love you. Quite as often as I could have Little things I should have said and done But I just never took the time Oh no, no You were always on my mind You were always on my mind How I miss my owl he may have smelled like day old warm beer and, and, and a chin that felt like a Brillo pad, but could he turn a phrase? I, I, I miss you, Al Colick. Oh, sure, I still have Ella and the other boys, but they don't know me like you. They's just boys. Not the talented man you are. Ms. Monroe, what should I do? It is so difficult being the object of everyone's affection. Sometimes I just don't think there's enough for me to go around. I could just never get you alone. Get real, Cletus. Gobsmacked? Well, that can't be a word. Well, I don't know, Ellard. I think I heard Tony and Kyle say it. Cletus, you can't believe that anything Tony says is going to make sense. It must be people babble. Right, Jeffrey? Right, Ellard. <laughs> Jeffrey, you are just plain scary. Hey, someone's coming. We gotta freeze, like now. Well, I'm freezing, Ellard. You're freezing? Why well, could give you my coat? you guys quit the clowning don't move there it's done my dearest big owl I could just never get you alone. 
oceans may have us apart, but you'll always have a piece of my heart. I love you, Al. And I always will. And the night goes on so very slow. Oh, I bet it won't end though. sweetie. Wake up. Lulu, can you wake up? Oh, Mr. Davis. Oh. Are you all right? Oh, I had a dream, Mr. Davis. You had a nightmare? Oh, no. No, it was Beautiful. I dreamed I was gonna see Al. Oh, that must have been a wonderful dream. I'm happy to hear you had a good dream. Let me get you up and you can tell me all about it, okay? Okay, Mr. Davis. Okay.
Lulu, Lulu. Yes, Mr. Davis, now that I've got you up. You, you said you were dreaming about Al. Yes, I was. It was just the most beautiful dream I ever had. It was. Well, I am sorry I woke you up. It's okay. So you're telling me, if you had your wildest of dreams come true, you'd want to go see Al? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I would add a thing or two. And what would you add? I'd say, Mike, sin for me, please. Send for me. I get lonely. It's okay. I'm not caring about you. I'm caring about Big Al.